Is this microphone on? Okay, we're good. All right, guys, what's up? Today, I'm going to be uh, showing you, as you can see from here, uh, I'm going to be showing you how to put together a cool little website just like this one. I'm going to be taking you through it step by step and uh, showing you exactly what you need to do and how you can get it up and running in about uh, 15 to 20 minutes maybe. But before we do that, I'm going to go over a couple things and then we can get straight to building the website. Website hosting is where your website is going to live online. It's where all your content is stored, all your videos, your pictures, anything basically that's on your website is stored there. And then all that information is stored on the server. Here's another way I like to explain this to people. Think if you were going to build the house, you would need the land to put the house on. When you're building a website, you're going to need somewhere to put the website on. So basically the land is the website hosting and your website is the house. Website hosting normally costs about $60 to $100 a year, sometimes more. But today I'm going to show you how to get website hosting for just $12 a year plus a free domain name. A website domain is the link to your website. So for example, here's some other website domains. Google.com, YouTube.com, Amazon.com, GoDaddy.com. You get the idea. Okay guys, so now that I've explained to you what website hosting is and what a domain is, we can actually move on to building the website. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to install the hosting. So what we're going to need to do is we're going to come over to here to my site, which is createwpsite.com. And we're going to head over here to special deals. This is where we're going to get the uh, GoDaddy coupon for the website hosting. So you guys will only have to pay $1 a month of one flat fee of $12. So let's come over here. We're going to click view this offer. And then once you get to this page, all you do is click this right here, the economy package. All right. Now, um, this video is going to cut to a previous video that I recorded. That's going to be explaining how to uh, set up the hosting and install WordPress. And after that, I'll come back and we'll start building the actual site. I'm just going to go with this one for this example. Okay, now pick your domain name, just whatever domain name you want, something that's going to be relevant to whatever your website's going to be about. I'm just going to do this one real quick. Okay, Finance and Solutions is available. Click Add and Continue. Okay, and then after you did that, you land on this page right here, and this is just going to show you your total and uh, since you click that link, it automatically applied this promotional code. And just to show you, we'll remove it. 1218. If you don't have that, it's back up to 60 bucks. So put that code. I'm going to put that code back in for sure. And then I'm going to go here, and I'm just going to go to proceed to checkout. Okay, and um, I'm going to sign up as a new customer. Okay, so I just entered all my information in. It's going to be blurred out for obvious reasons, but um, when you get the account information right here, email address, username, password, make sure you write all that stuff down, or uh, just make a note of it somewhere, even though I'm pretty sure they're going to give it to you anyways. And uh, the next thing you need to do is go down to payment information and pay however you want. I'm going to choose PayPal. Okay, and then after you pay, you're going to land on your uh, confirmation page. And um, all you're going to do is, if everything looks right, 1218 should be your total. Click I agree, and then place your order. And um, that's it. You now have website hosting. Okay, now before we go and install WordPress, first I want you to go up here and go to Manage My Domains. And we're going to verify our email. 
we got to do that before we can do anything. So just uh, come right here, click verify email. Now check your email and there should be some type of message there. Okay, so I'm going to go check my email now. Okay, and if you, uh, you can see right here, it says action required. Verify your email. Okay, now that's it. Your uh, account is verified. Now we're going to click here, go to my account. And we're going to set up WordPress. And you can just you can do this if you want, or you can just skip it. I'm just going to click no thanks. Okay, so when we get on this page, we're going to go here. And we're going to go to web hosting, and click manage. And right where it says new cPanel, click setup. Now you can select from your domain. It's already selected. I'm going to go here, and I'm going to create a, a username and a password. Okay, now after you do that, make sure you make some kind of note of that and then click finish. Now we're going to click get started. Okay, now you should be in your cPanel and to install WordPress, we're just going to scroll down here to web applications and click WordPress. Okay, then come right here and hit install this application. Okay, now when it gets to this part, we're just going to leave it blank. So anytime anybody goes to this link, they'll land on your page. Scroll down here. This stuff should be all figured out for you right here. I'm going to click install. Okay, and then you'll land on this page after you're done. And um, if you ever need to uh, edit your password or, you know, any of those type of things, you can go here, view edit details. It'll give you all your stuff right here. You can edit all that. I'm going to go here and I'm going to click this one that says uh, backslash WordPress admin. All right, guys, I'm back and uh, you guys should have WordPress installed by now. And you should be looking at a page that looks just like this and your site should look something like this very blank um, but we're gonna add some content to it and we're gonna make it look just like the example okay so the first thing we're gonna do is come over here to appearance and go to themes we're gonna install a theme and uh, we're gonna click add new and as you can see uh, you guys don't have to use the theme I'm gonna be using in the example but um, you can if you want and there's tons of other ones right here if you go to popular you see there's over 2,000 of them but for this one we're going to use this theme called Cosimo and click install and then click activate okay now it's uh, the themes installed let's take a look at how that looks okay getting close a little better still blank but uh, now it's time to add in some content okay and before we go and start adding the content in I just want to come over here to settings then click general and we're going we're going to uh, put a site title and the tagline just gonna use this right here and this is gonna be my tagline you guys can put um, you know whatever you want in there depending on whatever niche your website is and then after you do that scroll down and click save changes okay now let's just check that out real quick come over here as you can see diet and weight loss there's a tagline right there we're going to close this up and we're going to come over here and we're going to go to post just click on post and then um we're going to add some new posts in i'm going to add about seven to ten posts I'm gonna show you how to do the first post and then I'm gonna add them in and then I'm gonna come back so let me open some tabs for these new posts just open this and then um, you can either edit this or just get rid of it I'm just gonna get rid of it it's just the default uh, post that comes uh, with WordPress when you first install it so just click that move to trash go over here to add post and I got some couple here's this is gonna be my title 
and this is I'm just using some example text right here just to show you guys what it's gonna look like and um, if you ever want to add in a picture I'm gonna sh actually I'll show you how to do that in a second we're gonna scroll down here to set featured image and actually let me go here that was the first featured image and you guys can uh, you don't have to use a featured image um, but if you want to you can for this example you're gonna need one because otherwise the site won't look filled out so you can use uh, whatever size image you want it'll automatically scale it down bigger is usually better though and then click set featured image now we're going to scroll back up here and it's the same thing the same way uh, I set the featured image is the same way you add in uh, pictures video whatever you just go to upload files click it right there click insert into post and it'll come up wherever you want you can click this if you want on the left center or the right then I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna add a new category I'm just gonna do diet and you guys can add whatever uh, category you want you can have a bunch of them you can uh, have multiple categories for one post that's fine so whatever your niche is uh, just um, make your categories accordingly and then I'm gonna click publish and let's just take a look at how that looks so far okay there's the first post right there and now I'm gonna come back I'm gonna upload about mm, like I said seven to ten posts then I'll come back and we'll continue on okay guys I'm back and I'm just finishing up my last post here make sure I got my featured image I'm gonna click publish now we're gonna take a look at the website after it's got some posts up as you can see it's got some content now it's filled out it looks a little better and um, now we're gonna come up here to customize and we're gonna change this um, header image to something a little more relevant to this niche and we'll go here it's the same thing same thing as uploading a uh, featured image um, actually yep okay that's gonna be my background image and again uh, it doesn't really matter what size it is if you're gonna use a background or a header image or any type of background image you want it to be pretty big I'll show you where you can go to get some um, images to use after this is done loading and then just click select and crop and you don't have to um, I'm just gonna move this down you don't have to crop it at all oh actually I guess you do you just click it where you want it to be click crop and then uh, when that's done click save and publish close that and uh, it's already coming together a little bit and now let's move on to the next step okay uh, after we move on to or before we move on to the next step rather uh, I wanted to show you how or where I get my images from so I'm just gonna go to Google and I'm gonna search weight loss click images you got a bunch of images right here you just uh, you click one right click save it and then or if you need to um, get a specific size you can go over here you can go to size you can click large this shows everything that's gonna be large photos or you can get exactly you can type in whatever uh, dimensions you want and it'll show whatever ones that they have available for that size okay now we're gonna close this close this and we're gonna come back over here and we're gonna go to where is it there it is pages okay so the first page we're gonna create is actually an about us page but there's uh, there's three pages you always want to have on your website that's an about us page a contact us page and a privacy policy page you should always have those on your website Google likes them and um, you know it just makes your site look more professional so we're gonna add those but I'm gonna add some more on top of it but I'm just gonna click this one and the about page I'm going to get rid of this and I'm going to paste this right here and then I'm going to show you what this is exactly so if you guys ever you know if you don't know how to write an about us page or you don't know how to write a contact contact us page or a privacy policy page you can come here to this site uh, finance and solutions .com, uh, backslash example three and then go to the about page 
and you can click right here and it's going to bring you to the site that shows you how to write an about us page and it's going to be the same thing for a contact us page and privacy policy page there's going to be links on uh, those other two so and it's going to show you exactly what you need to do it's all free there's no um you don't got to pay for anything it's basically just copy and paste some stuff and um you'll have those pages okay and i just added in the last two uh must need pages the contact us page and the privacy policy again there's going to be links to uh both of those right here i'm going to click publish and then I'm going to view this page again just to show you guys one more time. Uh, you go here. Again, uh, free. You scroll down here, start now, and it'll show you exactly how uh, what you need to have uh, for your privacy policy page. Now we're going to move on to the next step. Okay, I'm uh, back to the pages section, and I'm going to add in about uh, five to six more pages, and then I'll come back and show you guys what I've did. Okay, so I just uh, finished adding up the last of the pages. I added a little more than uh, six or seven, like I said, but um, you guys don't have to add that many. Just as many as um, you need for, you know, whatever your site is, whatever your niche your site is. And, um, you know, it doesn't really matter, just as long as you have those three main ones. But let's see how that looks now. And as you can see, they're all... Um, right up here and also too if you guys ever want to sort like say you wanted to have um this home page be number one so we got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten we got eleven pages so if you ever wanted this to be number one you would set this as number one and then whatever you want for number two and you do that right here where's my home page here it is right here the right under order so this would be number one and then number two, whatever you want that to be, and so on and so on until you get to whatever number uh, pages you have up here. So it would go from 1 to 11. All right, guys, and uh, really that's about it. I know it seems quick, but, um, you know, like I said before, the main thing you need to focus on when you're building this is just having some content ready to go. And uh, that lets your site appear, uh, you know, to be full and to look like it's actually alive and running versus you know somebody who's gonna land on your website if you know you got one post up or something they're just gonna you know click off so really uh, just follow the directions step by step have your content ready and uh, you know you can have a cool website up like this in you know, literally 15 to 20 minutes so um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, if you liked it just give it a thumbs up and uh, give it a share too. I really appreciate that. And if you have any questions, leave it in the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible.